Hey guys, welcome to my video. Thank you very much for checking it out. I really appreciate it. Just want to give a huge thank you to these guys though, because they are the absolute best for supporting me on Patreon. I wouldn't be able to do what I do without you. So thank you so much. It means the world to me. If you want to check out my Patreon, link is in the description. If not, that's fine too. Other than that, enjoy the video. Hmm. Hey, it's Damer, and today I am, um, uh, I, I, I just can't be fucked to do anything creative, so I'm gonna read and respond to junk emails. Spam emails, you know, the ones you get that you don't want. I'm gonna read and respond to those. Woo! Content! Uh, right, um, let, yeah. Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's start with this one from Anonymous Hacker. Important, you have been recorded masturbating. Okay. <laughs> I have Damien S. Parker.mp4. Attention, my email. Okay. You have it, you have my attention. <laughs> the last time you visited a porn website with a fancy P, I don't know if that's meant to be intimidating or if they're just. 12 and thought it was cool. <laughs> the last time you visited a porn website with teenagers, you downloaded and installed the virus I developed. My program has turned on your cam and recorded the act of your masturbation. My software also downloaded all your email contact lists and a list of your friends on Facebook. Joke's on you, I don't have friends. <laughs> I have the Damien S. Parker.mp4 with you jerking off to teens as well as a file with all your contacts on my computer. You are very perverted. I mean, did I ask for your fucking opinion? No, just tell me how to get rid of the MP4. God, I'm very worried. If you want me to delete both the files and keep the secret, you must send me the Bitcoin payment. I give you 72 hours only to transfer the funds. If you don't know how to pay with Bitcoin, visit Google and search how to buy Bitcoin. <laughs> if you're dumb enough to fall for a scam email like this, I have no idea how they expect you to figure out Bitcoin payment because Fuck that. <laughs> Send 2000 USD or 0 0.212045 Bitcoin to this Bitcoin address as soon as possible. Do not try to cheat me. As soon as you open this email, I will know you opened it. I'm tracking all actions on your device. This Bitcoin address is linked to you only, so I'll know when you send the correct amount. When you're painful, I will remove both files and deactivate my program. If you choose not to send the Bitcoin, I will send your masturbation video to all your friends and associates from your contact list that I hacked. Again, no friends and definitely no associates. Here are the payment details again, like just in case I, just in case they didn't think I could scroll back up. I mean, they, they think I can figure out Bitcoin payments, but I can't figure out how to scroll back up and look at the payment details. You can visit police, but nobody can help you. Okay. I know what I am doing. I don't live in your country and I know how to stay anonymous. Don't try to deceive me. I will know it immediately. My spy software is recording all the websites you visit and all your key presses. All of them? <laughs> if you do, I will send this ugly vid to everyone you know. That's just mean. Calling me ugly for no reason. Including your family members. They, yeah, they already know I'm ugly. Don't cheat me. Don't forget the shame. And if you ignore- Don't forget the shame. <laughs> don't forget the- sh Never forget the shame. And if you ignore this message, your life will be ruined. I am waiting for your bit, bit, Bitcoin payment. You have 72 hours left. Anonymous hacker. Oh my god, there's more. P.S. If you need more time to buy and send Bitcoin, open your notepad and write 48 hours more. This way you can contact me. I will consider giving you another 48 hours before I release the vid, but only when I see that you are really struggling to buy Bitcoin. I know you can afford it, so don't play around. Like, that last part, like, nothing could be further from the truth. 2,000 USD? I can't even pay my rent. <laughs> no, seriously, it's a real problem. Help. Well, um... Uh, well, what, what do I say to that? What do I fucking say to Anonymous hacker? Uh, that. Oh, there's another one from him. There's a, there's a second one. I have a final warning. Okay, let me read you this final warning and then we'll give him a reply. Final warning, my email again. Thank, thanks for reminding me what my email is because you don't know my name. So you <laughs> just calling me by my email. Nice. You have the final chance to save your social life, which I don't have one, so there's nothing to save. Don't worry about it. I am not kidding. Neither am I. I give you the last 72 hours to make the payment why are they, like, why, what is with the fancy, fancy, um, letters? Why, why are words so hard for me all the time? W what was this meant to do? Is this like, oh, it's hacker code. Oh, you must be legit. I better send him the money or he's gonna send my dick to everybody. Oh, no, no. 
I give you the last 72 hours to make the payment before I send the video with your masturbation to all your friends and associates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last time you visited an oh, no, we saw my program is turned on your account. Yeah, no, we know this. I'm very perverted. You said that before. Oh, it's just the same email. Oh, except this one at the end says, we are anonymous, we are legion, we do not forgive, we do not forget, expect us. I didn't do anything for you to forgive. I did not do anything to you, legion. Also, that's not very intimidating. <laughs> that sounds like a fucking World of Warcraft bio or something. So it, yeah, it, it's it's not really doing it for me. <laughs> right, um, well, let, let's give him a response. Reply, yeah, sure, re wait, reply all. How many people did you send this to? Dear anonymous hacker, thank you for your concern, but I have no friends or associates. Also, I only masturbate to furry porn. But thanks. And send. Well, that was delightful. Let's read another one. If I have to. Oh, oh, this this looks cheery. Anita Morgan apparently has an important message for me before she dies. So maybe we should check that. Even though she sent it to me... What date is it? She sent it to me like two months ago, so... Um... Wait, is, it, is this the whole email? Wait, it just says, My name is Mrs. Anita Morgan. I'm on the sickbed now with serious cancer illness. That's it? That, well, shit. <laughs> Sorry, Anita. <laughs> like, what? Is it just not loading the full email? Literally, I thought it just wasn't loading the full email, but I checked on my computer. That is the entire email. She's just in bed sick with cancer illness. And she just wanted to let me know. Right, next one then. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Mrs. Marion Henry doesn't know the difference between a subject line and the actual content of the email because the subject line says everything. <laughs> I am Mrs. Marion Henry from the United Kingdom. Space, full stop. I, I married to Mr. Henry Paul from Toronto, Canada, who worked with Canadian Embassy here in Cote de Livoire. I'm sorry. For nine years before he died in the year 2015, I have a donation for charity work for you the sum of 4.5 million as God have located you to carry out his will. So let the will of God be done. Be fast in getting back to me. Finally, some punctuation because I'm very sick. I'm very sick. Having known my condition, God bless you. Always put me in your prayer. Your sister in C. That's a cool title. <laughs> Like, why can't people even scam correctly? What the hell? And then the actual email just says, I will send you more details as soon as I hard from you. So apparently I need to get this woman hard before she'll give me details. All right then, let's get her hard. Rubs your boobies. Can I have my money now? And send. <laughs> Business offer. Can I trust you? I don't know. Can you? Let's find out. Dear friend, you may be surprised to receive this mail since you don't know me personally, but with due respect, trust, and humility, I write to you this proposal. Open attach file for more detail. I don't think so. Why do all scam emails seem to have issues with not randomly breaking up the lines in the middle of a sentence? I don't. Why is this so common? Why Are they just like leaning on the enter key the entire time? Um, you know what? This one's so lazy, it doesn't even deserve a reply. You shit, try harder. So there you go. This one's just an update on my Amazon Japan account that I don't have. Thank you for that information. Oh, this one looks long, but it's from Mr. James Harris 55 at gmail.com. And what does Mr. James Harris have to say? Greetings, oh fuck. I was just blown away by the quality email. Greetings! The internet has been grossly abused by scam artists and miscreants. Oh, miscreants. Got on a miscreants. <coughs> oh, kill me. Scam artists and miscreants whose intention is to hurt. As much as one should be careful, we all should not allow negative to kill the positive potential in a realistic business. Negative? Negativity! Be better. <laughs> Please read my proposal carefully is 100% risk-free. That also didn't make sense, but okay, I will do it. My name is Mr. James Harris, the branch manager. That's a strange name. Adler Moore Bank, PLC London, Cash Office Branch, UK. What? 
Is that all your name? Married with three children. What's that got to do with anything? Oh, this guy's got kids. I guess I should trust him because he's a family man. Yeah, you got my trust. James Harris, the branch manager. I'm writing this letter to ask for your support and corporate co -pro cooperation. <laughs> Support and cooperation to carry out this business opportunity in my department. Andreas Schranner, a German business magnet. Oh my god, not a magnet. Who... Uh, I just can't be bothered to read this. Just, I, need, I need to blow my nose. <laughs> Basically, a German guy made a deposit into his branch. He had the scan documents in his save position, whatever the hell a save position is. He's playing a video game, maybe? I, I, I discovered from his contract employers, the Petroleum Corporation, that Mr. Andre Schwinnen died. Oh, so the, the German guy died, and uh, the UK banking law says that after the expiration of 20 years, if nobody apply for the claim, not applies, just apply, it will be confiscated as state treasury if nobody apply for the claim. If nobody apply for the claim, it will be confiscated as state treasury if nobody apply for the claim. I think I get the point. If nobody apply for the claim, it's gonna... Nobody apply for the claim, and nobody apply for the claim. Right, okay. I am seeking for your support to stand as next of kin slash beneficiary, so you want me to lie. Bish wants me to lie. I am ready to share with you 60% for you and 40% will be kept for me. Oh, gotta make it sound realistic. Gotta make it sound realistic before they run off with all my details. You will provide an offshore account where the funds will be transferred to- Oh, that's- that's what I'm providing. You want all my bank details and- also my valid direct telephone, mobile slash fact number, my full name, my current residential address, my private email address, my occupation, my age and sex and my nationality. You just, just need all of that and I'll get 60% um, uh, of how much money? $12 million. Sounds great. Uh, sorry, unfortunately, James, I'm just, I'm just not comfortable with lying. It would just make me feel really wrong. So I'll just let him know. Thanks for the offer but I'm not comfortable lying. Sorry, and good luck. Send. Right, I think we can, I think we can reply to one more because, you know, I'm feeling extra charitable. I know all these people are reaching out for help and I just, uh, I just really want to help at least one more person. So let's go for Mr. Ping Huang. This is going to be fun. Greetings, my name is Enger. Dot Ping Huang. What is your name? Your name's Ping. It's Ping now. I'm a citizen of Australia, a businessman specialized in oil and gas, but now I am critically sick with esophageal cancer. Oh, oh no, which has damaged almost all the cells in my body system. <laughs> all the cells in his body system. What the fuck? Oh, gotta watch out for that body system. Take care of your body system. Ow, I hurt my body system. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell, okay. My late wife died in an accident with our two daughters a few years ago, leaving me with our only son, whom is just 11 years old, and he is my most concern now. <laughs> he is my most concern now. I wish I was somebody's most concern now. That would feel really nice. Also, what kind of luck do you have where you've damaged almost all the cells in your body system, and you've lost your wife and two daughters a few years ago, and you, you've got a son who is most concerned now? What? I've just got to help this guy out. I've just got to do it. Just, oh. As he is still a child and does not know anything about live and has nobody to take... <laughs> I don't know anything about live either. Oh. Teach me, Daddy Ping. I just feel the need to say, I know the person who wrote this probably doesn't speak English as their first language, and generally I wouldn't make fun of that because I only speak one language, so the fact that anybody can speak more than one is impressive to me. But if they're trying to scam me, I don't really feel bad making fun of them for that, so... Yeah, moving on. Uh, he does not know anything about Liv, apparently, and has nobody to take care of him if I died, because I and my late wife does not have any relatives. We both grew up in the orphanage home and got married under orphanage as orphans. We grew up in the orphanage home and got married under orphanage as orphans. Did you orphan that the orphan? I'm an orphan. Did you orphan? I'm an orphan. <laughs> I think he might be an orphan. So if I die now, my innocent child will be left alone in this wicked world. Oh. And I do not wish to send him to any orphanage home. <laughs> Orphan! I want him to grow up in the hands of an individual, not orphanage. 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 Wait, am I about to be asked to adopt a child? Like, at least just, like, scam me out of money. Don't try and make me take care of a kid. What the fuck? Please, I am begging you in the name of God. They like to use God a lot, which is quite assumptuous that um, everyone's actually religious. 
I am not, so that means nothing to me. Assumptious? Is assumptious even a fucking word? Hey Siri, is assumptious a word? Sumptuous means no. Splendid and expensive looking. That's not what I said. Is it... <laughs> assumptious is a word. Wonderful. It just sounds dumb, and it sounds dumber every time I say it. <laughs> Orphan. <laughs> Where was I? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm not religious, so stop trying to use God as a, a guilt trip. Cool, keep going. Let's go D doing it. Let me instruct my bank to wire transfer my fund worth the sum of US dollars. 10 million <laughs> to your account immediately. Then you will take my son to your home and raise him as your own son. No, I won't. I don't, I don't want a child. I have absolutely no interest in a child. Um, even if it comes with $10 million, but I, I highly doubt that this one does. I, I don't even think the child would turn up and that could be really heartbreaking to someone who really wants to adopt the little Boy, I forgot the gender. I don't, I don't see gender, so. As soon as the fund is transferred to your own bank account, you shall take 30%, oh fuck off, I want all of it, of the total amount transferred to your account as my representative and trustee of my son and use 70% for the upkeep of my little son. No, I'll use $5 for the upkeep of your son and I'll keep the rest for myself. <laughs> Please apply immediately with your full data if you agree to help me so that we can arrange for the transfer of the funds to your own bank account before anything happens to me because I will undergo surgery by next week and I do not know what will be the result of the surgery as, as the case with most surgeries. Thank you for letting me know though. As the doctor has told me already that I may not survive just like everyone else in your family. Please, I wait to hear from you now. It's a matter of urgency. Yours sincerely, Mr. Ping Huang, who told me his name was Anger earlier on in the email. Well, Mr. Ping Huang, Let's reply. I don't want your stanky ass son. Sorry. Send. Right, so I think I've had enough uh, cheer and rainbows and happiness and uh, all, all that good stuff for today. So, uh, yeah, no more. Woo. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure that you come back next week because I'm actually trying to post every single week now on this channel and on my other channel. If you don't know what my other channel is, it's some furry bullshit. Th that's right. That may not have been a joke I said earlier. I'll leave it up to you, but <laughs> fuck, I hate myself. Um, I I'm going to shut up now, but first I want to ask you to subscribe to this channel because it validates me. Alright, okay, bye, fuck off! <laughs>